So we really melded design, music, science concepts all into one package. Design, creativity are all parts of scientific exploration and discovery. Design and creativity are part of arts activities as well. They're all woven together, so design is a part of science, definitely, and it's a part of research and exploration. Um, so people like wrote songs and some were picked to like you know to be in it and then we formed like a group and we like like one person did the garage band and one person like was a rapper and like the others were like the backup dancers and it was also very educational because we were teaching others about flight and we were also learning stuff about flight. I was a rapper I just kept practicing it at home that night. It was entertaining and it, we said some things about Wilbur and Orville Wright. Up above the blue sky, he flew to a treetop, he flew to a mountain, then he was happy ever since then, he dreams big dreams. Since the beginning of time, man looked up and wished that he could fly. How in the world will I be able to fly? It will be wonderful, magical. I will fly if it's the last thing I do. I will discover and explore. This is a story of our journey leading all the way to present day. In China, a dude had a hat with a string, and on a windy day, the hat started to fly. That gave him an idea, so the kite was invented by the Chinese in the 5th century BC. They used kites for prayer, entertainment, and an award to send messages and to spy. The first Chinese hot air balloons were built in 3rd century BC and were made of silk and bamboo. They became more popularized in 12,080. We all know that kites, which are early vehicles of flight, are from China. Wan To was the first one to launch himself into air on a kite from a tower in the capital. 
Many start to jump off from high places with wings, which led to serious injury or death. Sir George, Sir George Cowley built the first human glider, and it worked. He discovered the four aerodynamic forces of flight, weight, lift, drag, and thrust. He invented cambered wings, which provided a basis for the design of the modern airplane. But it was the work of Isaac Newton in 1687 that defined gravity and the forces of motion that provided the modern day science. On February 10, er, on December 17, 1903, Orville Wright piloted the, fir the first powered airplane 20 feet above windswept beach. They selected the beach at Katy Hawk because of the constant wind and the proving ground that had lifted their craft. Before radio and television, information traveled slowly. People learned the news through newspapers and telegraph. History was recorded in several ways. People took pictures, they even wrote songs. A lot of information was just passed from one person to another by word of mouth. Let's listen on a few of the conversations. Have you ever heard about the Wright brothers? Yes, I have. Did you know they created their own newspaper? I never knew such a thing. And they never got a high school diploma or went to college. Wow, really? Yes, but they still achieved the first flight. <laughs> Where is he? Hey, Mr. Waffles! <gasps> hey, Mr. Waffles, have you heard what happened? No, I didn't. What is it, Bob? Two boys in Wilbur and Orville Wright made a flying machine. Really, Bob? Yes, they really did make a flying machine. Where did this happen? It happened at a place called Kitty Hawk. Isn't that foreign land? It's foreign to me, but that doesn't matter. Don't you realize that they are the first people to make a flying machine? Yes, I do realize this, Bob. Oh, I didn't think you knew that. Bob, isn't it time to go to school? Why, yes it is. Look at those right boys fly. Yeah, did you hear that new toy coin toss? Or what was the first brother airborne? Yeah, and the toy launched their flying obsession? They're always tinkering in that bike shop. I guess it paid off. 
One of the songs written in 1909 about this historical event was the Song of the Ride Post by Mary E. Knotsman. <laughs> Dream and imagine, hypothesize and experiment, trial and error, design and revise. Here are some flying machines we made to learn more about physics and flight. What if there were no explorers and scientists to try out their ideas? What if the naysayers won the argument? What if there were no investors for, to fund new ideas? It's a good thing we can use our curiosity and imagination to keep us moving forward.
all started because of an apple. It's a good thing men like Isaac Newton didn't give up. Watch and listen as some of our friends review the work of Isaac Newton and their forces of motion raps. You'll love the garage band tracks that back up the raps. <laughs> motion, motion, forces of motion. An object in motion just keeps on going. It's big and slow when it's small, but it's fast. When an object is a wall, it goes the opposite way. Motion, forces of motion. If you crash a plane, it will fall in the ocean. If you are pressing, just put on the motion. When you pump the squirt, it will fall straight down. You'll be the cleanest person in town. Turn that frown upside down. Motion, motion, forces of motion. It also occurs in erosion. The pieces of rock fall in the Atlantic Ocean. And the movie Frozen, Elsa strikes Anna, she falls straight down. She gets knocked right down. Motion, motion, voices of motion. This is the brainiest rap I've ever spoken. Motion, motion, forces of motion. <laughs> if an object is in rest, remains in rest. Motion, motion, forces of motion. Every action in it has a equal and opposite reaction. Newton's laws are no lie, forces of motion do apply. Forces equal to mass times acceleration use the formula to calculate. For all these laws of motion, motion, forces of motion. If an object, if an object is in motion, it remains in motion. All these laws apply, listen to Newton, so you know gravity is no lie. you to think about what new adventures, new ideals, and new discoveries might happen in the future. Flight. We went from rickety wooden planes to commercial jetliners. Flight today has improved so much, and even going to space. We should, be, we should be proud of what we have, and thanks to advanced technology, we can do so many things. Thank you for coming and sharing our discoveries. Well, the uh, Shawnee Mission School District is a partner in education with the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. And that partnership uh, with the Kennedy Center also pairs us with an arts organization in the Kansas City area, Johnson County Community College Arts and Education. Won a STEM grant from NASA um, last summer, and the grant was to support arts and science. 
So we then paired with the Kansas Cosmosphere, who already had a curriculum in place called the Physics of Flight. Um, the kids participated by going out to the community college and working with the Cosmosphere staff spending a whole day there working on the concepts of flight, the car, the kites that you saw, all of those things were in the curriculum from the Cosmosphere. Um, as the music teacher, it was obvious to me that to solidify the learning, we would write music to go with it. I actually looked for a musical about flight uh, that, we could, that was prepackaged that we could perform, but couldn't find anything, so I decided, well, we're just gonna use the creative process and create our own music and lyrics and write the script. Uh, the musical ended up being a few songs that we wrote lyrics to with original melodies. The students also wrote raps to solidify the concepts and then the students also wrote garage band tracks to accompany their raps. 